spilt tea on myself. Hey you and welcome to another one of my December videos. Today I am going to be keeping it real with you guys. I have no shoes on, sitting down, relaxed, chilled out. Bally's looking at me like I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself or in this case to you guys. And I've got my tea and I'm ready to start using a coaster. And what I decided to do today with you guys is pretty much just sit down, have a little chat about um, my favorite Christmas movies and obviously at the end of the day or at the end of the video in this case, find out what are your favorite Christmas movies too. And in case you're wondering why I'm wearing a beanie inside the house, there is only one explanation, which is I'm having a really bad hair day. It's one of those days where my hair just says, I am not cooperating with you at all, Mia. So I did what any woman would do, which is cover it all up. I'm cozy, I'm warm, I'm ready. So I think to start off with, I'm gonna talk about my all-time favorite Christmas movie. Um, I think it's pretty much everyone's favorite Christmas movie or like, even the closeted, I don't watch Christmas movie kind of people will have this as their favorite Christmas movie. And that is, let's say it together, ready? One, two, three, Home Alone. It's just that kind of movie that you can watch at any age. Um, I, I love the fact, it's, it's filled with Christmas in every single scene, I think. Either it's snow, or it's snowmen, or it's Christmas decorations, or Christmas songs. It's just so, so Christmassy. And to me, Home Alone only works if it's number one or number two. Three just doesn't count. I'm sure there are people out there that like number three, but I didn't enjoy it that much. I pretty much just enjoyed number one and number two, and I thought it was amazing. I don't know if you had to ask me which one is my favorite, I wouldn't know, actually. I really enjoyed both of them. I think I think maybe number two only because it's in New York where it's like, you really feel Christmas, and because they, they, um, they have that huge um, department store of just toys and everything, and I feel like when I was a kid and I watched that, I thought to myself, I need to go to the store. And the only thing that I had which was similar was Hamley's. So I think every year, um, Bali, try and talk her. So I think that every year I would try to make myself go to Hamley's just to feel the kind of sort of Home Alone vibe that he felt. But yeah, if you haven't seen Home Alone, number one, number two, uh, first of all, shame on you. And second of all, watch it because you will love it. It's a family film. You can watch it at any time and it's just wonderful. The second film, I really enjoyed watching. It's more of a, how should I say, it's more of a serious kind of a Christmas movie, but I love the message that um, that comes with the movie. It's called Miracle on 34th Street. It's with a little girl that plays Matilda. I actually should know her name in this video, but I don't know it, I'm going to research. Ah, her name is Mara Wilson. You guys know her as Matilda. I mean, I'm gonna always know her as Matilda, but whatever, it's, her name is Mara Wilson, and it's this really, really, actually this is what they say on Wikipedia, so that I don't get anything wrong. Six-year-old Susan Walker, which is Mara Wilson, is skeptical of the Christmas myth surrounding Santa Claus, a trait she perhaps learned from her mother, Dory, who is Elizabeth Perkins. When tasked with hiring the Santa who will pose with kids at Macy's, Dory enlists a man with the curious name of Chris Kingle, who claims to be Santa himself. His assertions are met with scoffs and threats of institutionalization, but a, a young lawyer, along with Susan and Dory, comes to his defense. Dun dun dun. So basically the movie is about a man who claims to be Santa Claus, and um, it kind of talks about how we believe so many things that can't be proven, but when it comes to Santa Claus and someone saying that their Santa Claus is absolutely ridiculous, and then that's when Matilda comes to the rescue. I'm just gonna keep on calling her Matilda. You wanna come up here, baby? You wanna come up here? Okay. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello to all the people. Hello. But yeah, and then um, Matilda comes to the rescue and it's a really beautiful Christmas movie and it really um, makes you think about the values behind Christmas. So I really enjoyed it and Bally did too. You're hurting me. Another movie on a more, on, in this case, on a less serious note is a Christmas movie that, what's up? It's a Christmas movie that is absolutely ridiculously funny. It's, it is ridiculous, but it's ridiculously funny at the same time. It's called Elf. If you haven't seen it, believe me, you have to watch it. It's with Will Ferrell, so you pretty much know what you're gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna be watching. It's a comedy with him. It was made in 2003, and it's pretty much about, um, it's about Will Ferrell being an elf. I mean, you can you know how tall he is, so him being an elf is already just really, really funny. Um, but yeah, it's about this kid that was adopted by Santa Claus, and um, <laughs> he's one of his elves, and about him coming to, to Earth, and just, you just imagine an elf living on Earth, on our planet Earth. Um, so, oh, that's really hurting me, kiddo. 
It's really funny. It's 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 definitely silly, but it's the kind of it's that silly Christmas movie that you should just put in the background whenever you're doing your cooking or having dinner with friends or this that the other. It's a wonderful movie. I definitely enjoy it a lot because I do like Will Ferrell. I like his kind of sense of sense of humor and his acting skills. And in this movie, it, it was done a long time ago. Well, a long time ago. But I think it's it's just a Christmas classic in 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 a way, and um, it will make you think of Christmas from the beginning to the end. To the end. And the on um, the films that I decided to talk about in this movie, it was all based upon um, films that are definitely Christmassy. You have Christmas involved in some way, have snow. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites too. Another Christmas movie that is absolutely obvious, and I'm singing, I'm singing. Another obvious one is The Grinch. Who doesn't love Jim Carrey, right? The Grinch is... It's its really well done, the movie, because they, they, they depicted this little town of... Again, I should know these things. Why didn't I write them down? Let us research. Bali, Bali, I need my finger. The Grinch. I wrote The French. Ah, it's called The Citizens of Whoville. Whoville, not Whoville. And it's all about like the fact that all these citizens of Whoville, they absolutely love Christmas and everything's all Christmassy and it's like this, the biggest event of the town and don't fall. It's wonderful that, that their love for Christmas. So you definitely, at the beginning of the film, you're already like, boom, Christmas is the best thing in the world. And then suddenly you have this, this really, really ugly green creature called the Grinch who hates everything about Christmas. I mean like everything. He lives in this cave. He doesn't like to hear them singing. He doesn't like to hear them celebrating Christmas. And you can pretty much guess, but it's all about how we can we can make him love Christmas. But um, even if you don't feel like watching a Christmas movie, I would definitely recommend you watch this anyway because Jim Carrey is such a talented actor and he really depicts Grinch in such a perfect way and it gives him this kind of amazing personality and, and it must have, been, must have been really hard for him to like act in that big suit and I don't even know how they did his, this characterization, it's insane. He doesn't look like Jim Carrey. Look, I'll put the photo here of him. Tell me, does that look like Jim Carrey? It doesn't. But yeah, it's another one of my Christmas favorites, The Grinch. Um, and I recommend it if you're watching it with family or if you have someone in your family who doesn't like Christmas, just be like, this one's dedicated to you. <laughs> and last but not least, my absolute favorite Christmas movie. And obviously it's only in the recent years, um, but it's just, I watch it every every year. I've, I forced Miguel to watch it with me every single year. Um, poor thing. But it is none other than Disney's Frozen! Frozen! Let it go, let it go. You want to kiss me in my mouth? <laughs> I love Frozen. I think it's, it's definitely one of Disney's best movies. I love it. The, the way that they the way that they gave personalities to Anna and to Elsa, and they're so different, I am definitely 100% Anna. I'm, I'm very distracted, I fall, I trip, I, I walk into things just like she does. I'm very ditzy, I'm always singing, so I'm definitely Anna in this story. And I think everything was really well thought of in Frozen. The songs are insane, Indina Menzel is just an amazing singer. Um, the songs are well thought of, um, the, the, the comedy behind it, like even in the, one of the first scenes, I remember watching it, um, where Anna is singing and suddenly at the end of the song she goes na 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 na, boom, and she goes, <laughs> and this car, go this car, this um, caravan goes, caravan? What do you call it? A, a, a moving object goes into her and she just flies off the, off the screen. It's just, it's, it's things that you wouldn't expect. Olaf is my absolute favorite. Actually, look, we have this on our bed. This is so embarrassing. I love Frozen so much that Miguel gave me Olaf. I have Olaf in my house. Isn't that right? We have Olaf in the house. Okay, as you can see, Bali and Olaf have this love affair. Ooh, don't French kiss in front of me. Olaf is definitely one of my favorite characters, but yeah, Frozen is, is my all-time favorite Christmas movie. Um, there's so much snow, beautiful songs, the story behind it is amazing, and it really is that kind of movie that you can just sit down with your family and watch and laugh. It's got adult jokes, it's got, it's got baby kid jokes. What on earth is a baby kid joke? <laughs> but yeah, that one is um, my favorite Christmas movie, and I watch it every single year. And this year, we're gonna watch it again. He's probably gonna shoot me in the face when, I, when he finds out that it's gonna be another thing that we're gonna do this Christmas. But yeah, those are all of my Christmas uh, favorites. I'm not sure if I'm forgetting anything.
let me know um, what Christmas movies I should watch if I've missed out on anyone, if there's one that I really have to watch before Christmas comes or, or even on Christmas Eve because I always do a session with my family watching a Christmas movie on the 24th at night time. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what are your favorite Christmas movies. Um, if you agree with me, if there's any movie that you definitely watch every single year. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can get future notifications on my videos. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and until tomorrow, a very, very Merry Christmas. Mwah! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Mwah!